of the best of three. Uh, game number two. Game number one of this best of three. The second match of Clem today is what I had on my mind. That's where the two came from, in case you wondered what the hell I'm... <laughs> how the hell I conjured that one up. In the top left-hand side, our red Protoss player. This is going to be Trigger. Bottom right, our blue Terran is going to be Clem. One of our series, we got this started off. Get this underway. And Clem definitely a favorite here in TVP, which is very uh, formidable. Definitely a TVP to be scared of. I yeah, I kind of pulled it together against Ryong in the end. It was a little bit shaky getting there, but did get there in the end. So that's kind of an interesting series in general, to be honest, as the engineering bay block will come down. And that's going to be how Clem controls this in the early stages. So he's just going to come through. One engineering bay is not enough. You engineering bay a second time. So double engineering bay, one on the natural, one on the third. Probe pulls over, nibbles at the engineering bay for the moment. Zealot gonna swipe and dice, and the STVs will fall. And the Zealot's just gonna jump onto this engineering bay too. So engineering bay is gonna take damage, but yeah, you can't really expand right here as trigger. Unless you take a very stupidly far forward expansion, that is not a good idea. That's not something you really want to double down on at all. That just seems like a bad plan. Cyclones on the way up here from Clem, so we're going to be getting a little bit of pressure on the go. Clem loves some of these Cyclone builds in the TVP. It's always been very, um... Very, very happy to kind of get aggressive early in the game, Clem, a lot of the times, right? Like, he's not afraid to push across the map. He does kind of the Cyclone Marine shove better than almost anybody else. It's just something about the way he plays that uh, sets him off, able to kind of do those things. Now Starport coming through, the couple of Widow Mines producing off of the factory, so that's on the way as well. Starport coming up, Command Center coming by, couple Widow Mines popping out, the SCV and Marine in production as well. Cyclone's going to lock in and just going to see our first Stalker just gets out alive. Nice lift on the Phoenix from Trigger. It's going to allow him to pretty much guarantee a kill on this first Cyclone. Second Cyclone. Oh, okay, both go down and we're not able to get anything from it. So Clem is going to lose any power that he might have been looking to push with here. So that's going to get shut down with immediate effect. It's going to be a very easy shutdown, honestly. Oh, mind drop gonna get caught as well. Phoenix doing what Phoenix do best, which is playing a very good defensive game. But am I in one dies? The the Phoenix eats a shot, which means it's gonna be low. Next widow mine is still active there, it's gonna go off on the zealot. That means the next widow mine can be killed. Man, this is getting a little bit confusing here. Another widow mine shot goes off on the Phoenix. So the Phoenix is gonna be low HP, but we're gonna kill pretty much every single widow mine from this. No, that's a mistake. Now we're gonna lose the Phoenix. And now we're gonna lose another one. Okay, miscontrol from trigger. So I think what happened there is. OZ miscontrolled up here and lost a Phoenix, and then he panicked and dealt with that rather than letting this Phoenix be pulled backwards. Now you lose two Phoenix. This was looking amazing for him, shutting down all the aggression, not really losing anything, but now you lose two Phoenix, and it almost feels like Clem isn't even too worried about that. Resources loss is still good for Trigger, but your Phoenix count is meant to be something you build into and you keep throughout the game. You don't have to rebuild them. You're meant to go grow to very scary numbers. They're not going to get to scary numbers if they keep on dying, so... 
Yeah, a little sad there in the end. Oh, what am I see it? Trying to drop across the map again once more. The Phoenix find the medevac though. The what am I will get out and unborrowed. And they, the Phoenix will just camp here until the Observer arrives, because the Observer's about to pop and will, I imagine, come straight over this direction. Medivac is going to evacuate. I think he knows what's going to happen. But a new Medivac on the left and maybe could take advantage of the fact that Phoenix are going to focus on the right and these Widow Mines. I like it. The Medivac is away, so it doesn't get jumped on if the Widow Mines get jumped on. But not far enough away it can't evacuate if the Phoenix give up on this to go and defend this drop. It's actually a pretty cool kind of way of playing it from Clem. Cool idea. In the end, it's a good defense from Trigger, though. He's in position on the natural, so the drop can't do anything. He can indeed clean these Widow Mines up freely. I guess yeah, I think good play from Clem. Great play by Trigger. He really saw what Clem's idea was. The idea was very smart from Clem, but Trigger saw ahead of it, played around it, put himself in a great position continuing through. Plus one attack, extends the Milan's building up from Trigger. Just gonna be seeing a couple of zealots coming through. The Phoenix hitting the medevac a little bit. A couple of SCVs will get shot down to three workers getting picked up right away. So four SCVs, I mean, again, these Phoenix have been heroes throughout the start of this game. Able to come through, get a lot of damage done. This is going to come in. SCVs getting picked off. Widow Mines getting grabbed. Send back around and, again, Phoenix doing a pretty good job of playing cleanup here. Combat shield about to finish, plus one attack on the way on the engineering bay. In the top left, our marines are going to get to work, picking away at a few of probes. Right, we're going to decide to just turn around and run. Colossus Immortal, Zealot Phoenix, chasing them bio units down. We actually turn around again, we go back and forth. Widow Mines are going to burrow, just having our army still pressing through. The Observer's there, though. Trekkers are doing a great job of just clearing up throughout this game. There's there's never really been moments where Clemens looked to be in really any control at all. I feel like he's consistently getting shut down and turned around. Army still out in the center. A couple of Vikings, a couple of Marauders coming through as well, so we bring those on the way. Put that start in here. As we do actually have the Frost Force fighting a little bit onto the main army. Trying to find a little bit of a catch for a moment or two. Not really going to find anything just yet, though. Be seen our body is going to be fighting. Just going to be seeing the stalkers coming over. Vikings going to get chased away. Now Colossus still flying by, we're going to come back over, a couple of Vikings are going to be there, they have the Colossus as well. All the commands still taking some damage, Bio will be there, another Zelda going down, Colossus still flying, Marauders taking some hits as well, Vikings are going to kite backwards. Vikings will pull away. It's going to be seen that Colossus actually taking some shots, it's going to be seeing the first one going down, a couple of Zelda's being cleaned up as well. Trigger really looking to push through. I mean, he's working on that orbital. He needs to kill this orbital. If you don't kill this orbital, this is a lot of wasted damage. He gets it. Is it worthwhile? Because now he's going to start losing units. Clem needs to target fire that low HP. Colossus gets that. Zell going down. Stalker's left in this fight as well. Everything's going to keep on fighting. I don't love that from Trigger. I think he should have taken the chance to run with some of these units while he could. Now he's going to get chased down, and now he might lose even more. Lazard's getting cleaned up a little bit. Plus two attack and Blink still coming around. Oh, he's still chasing over.
You know, to gather her up. She's gonna be seeing the High Templar warping in. Plus two attack and Blink both coming in as well on the side of Trigger. So again, all of that on the go currently. I'm gonna take a stim in towards this mineral line here, and those probes are just gonna have to go running. Well, that's gonna be nice. Just you know, see the Colossus pops out, he just gets killed immediately. Nice grab. <laughs> we take those. We take those for sure. There's uh Trigger supply gonna start uh, being a little bit worse for wear now. Clams is gonna be on this other side, man. He was doing so well on the other side, he just stuck around for too long. So unnecessary. He has, of course, killed the third base. Clem's not in a great position if this game goes on. His ego is in trouble, so he needs to make stuff happen right now, and he's actually getting cleaned up, so this might kind of be the end of Clem's push, in which case Trigger, given time, will rebuild off of four bases, going to base five. Supply doesn't like Trigger right now, but I don't think Clem's got enough to necessarily punish him for it. I are coming over a couple of units, continuing through. Just going to have ourselves the... Probe nibbling up at the uh, rocks here as well. Our uh, continue is over. Prism coming about. Let's see how Bio is going to get next in the top right. So that fifth phase at least goes down. Clem at least is keeping the economy in somewhat kind of control. Ah, this is a fight where Clem looks a lot more convincing again. He's going to be seeing the Widow Mines burrowing. The Zelda's coming through. Immortal gets blown up. The Zelda's going down. Gloss is coming forward as well. Bio will just continue to come about. Immortal is going to get jumped on. Stalker's going to be taking some damage too. We've seen the Marauders still fighting against those Stalkers. So we've seen the Bio is going to get pushed back in the end. So Trigger will eventually get a defense here. Close to base in the process. And Observer's chilling out overhead. Wouldn't mind just going to be set there. Mines, Marines, Ghost coming up. Mines shooting again. A couple of yeah, units going down. Those elves going to get cleaned up as well. It's going to be seen still the army of Clem able to take those fights and still just up the army supply of Trigger could just... You know what it comes down to? You remember when Trigger could have run away with like, you know, 15 supply of units? I think if he had those 15 supply of units, he wins this game. Because right now, that's kind of just the difference he doesn't have to stay alive in this. He should have ran while he had the chance. Now, Clem's actually getting another base up on the 6 o'clock. So, that's going to be huge for him. Oh, he's still coming over. I don't mind just going to chase the zealots away. You see the couple of balance is going to get grabbed. The next is coming up as well. Well, Vikings, Marines, Marauders still coming around. A couple more refineries coming up. Uh, just gonna be there. Just gonna be seeing the Colossus taking some shots. Dog's gonna blink through. Dog's in the front. Viking's gonna be chilling. And so is gonna go and try and counterattack. The SCV's a Clem going down. I mean, economy was his issue, but with a new base up on the 6 o'clock. Yeah, the SCV count itself isn't amazing, but I think he's got enough bases to mine from. We've seen the disruptors continue coming about. Plus three attack coming through. Disruptor stalkers continuing in as well. So we've seen the feedback dropping in. A couple stalkers going to be there to push the medivacs out, so they have to escape out of there. But 
the disruptor comes in. TG coming up, couple ghosts and the marines coming about as well. Disruptor stalkers plus three attack coming in. Just gonna come in once again. It's gonna be seeing the stalkers getting grabbed, the immortal getting jumped on. It's gonna be seeing the stalkers arc on everything else coming back over. It's gonna be having the T2 upgrade still coming now. Disruptor shot lands, Marauder and the ring going down, another disruptor shot coming over. It's gonna be seeing the bio still coming through, stalkers getting chased. Army coming back into the middle of the map, Trigger looking to threaten for the first time in a while. A little bit of calm has obviously done Trigger the world of good. His economy sank in, he's able to rebuild his army up, and that's a big deal. T2 upgrades coming in Vikings, Marines, Wood of Mines, Ghosts, all in production as well. The Dark Shrine coming up here from Trigger. Nice little rad drop from Clem, they're gonna get a bunch of probes of just a very simple drop. Disruptor shot on the edge is actually pretty decent. Clem doesn't capitalize from that just yet. His trigger is up. About 20 supply coming out of this. And Clem's coming across the map once more. So Clem looking to force a fight, but this time does not have an army supply lead like he had in a lot of the previous fights that we saw in this game. Ring goes down. Zealot going to be able to get a grab there. Ghost is going to be nibbling at the pylon already. If the Widow Mine will borrow up, and we're just going to see our Stork is blinking through as well. Disruptor shot fires. It's going to be seeing another Disruptor coming through. Widow Mine's getting cleaned up for the moment. Another Disruptor shot again. Zal's going to go after those SCVs. Disruptor's also coming by now. Ten SCVs going down as we do have the Bio still trying to come back in. Vikings shooting at the Colossus. The Colossus is going to take some more hits. Disruptor shot Fires, but doesn't land. Another disruptor shot landing as well. Another disruptor shot going to fly short. The thing is, Clem chasing the disruptor shouldn't ever be a good trade for him. Losing SCVs as well. Economy's becoming an issue for him once more. Yes, he got the bases back up, but now struggling work account wise. At, wise. at first, it didn't matter so much, but with Trigger continuing to expand, it becomes an issue. And it, it, at first, it didn't matter as well because Clem had more armies who was trading efficiently. Now that's not the case. The economy is a much bigger problem, and Trigger will open with a game win here over Clem. And that is going to put them into a difficult spot. It's going to in the top right corner of the map. The player who opens the game with the, uh, the series with the game win, and the red Protoss from Basilisk. This is Trigger. On the top left, our blue Terran from Team Liquid is Clem. So game number two, we get this underway. My voice, guys. It's been a, a long day of games already, five and a half hours or so. Nexus, Cybercore coming in.
I see Afro moving up. Nexus coming by. Get settled for a couple of moments. As we move in, some depth going through. It's going to be a Twilight Council from Trigger. I mean, honestly, the Phoenix was so good for Trigger early last game. So much of Clem's early game got completely thrown off by the... Um, yeah, so much of the early game got uh, completely thrown off by those Phoenix and the defensive trigger. He was in such a good spot early through that game. How's our Dirk going to go chasing after the rip? Cyclone Locks is going to be seeing the Adept getting chased. Cyclone's still coming through. Rip is still moving about. Coming about, Stalker throwing a boosting. It's going to be seeing the warp gate coming in. Blink coming online. And back, just going to move out. Marine Cyclone Reaper continue to move across. Getting settled here for the moment. Cyclone's locking on. It's gonna be seeing the adepts and the stalkers. Gonna be uh, taking a couple shots. Actually, gonna go after that battery. Cyclones will get rid of the battery straight away. They're still moving around. I mean, this time around, Clem is obviously able to do some damage, but that medivac's low. So yeah, the cyclones have hope. But if the medivac's low, then that's gonna be your way of keeping the cyclones alive. Maybe in big danger. We're gonna load up. We're gonna back away for the moment. Blink not done yet. Clem knows that, so he is safe to make these plays so far. As thank you, Zeos Inc. for the 20-month resub on the Prime. Basica for the 29-month resub on the Prime as well. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for supporting. As our two Cyclones come in and going to start hitting the Nexus a little bit. Stalker coming through as well. Right out 88. Hitting us up with a sub train. Why not? Two-month resub on the Prime as well. Thanks for keeping SC2 alive. Thank you so much for supporting our efforts of keeping SC2 alive by subscribing. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you for the Primes. Subtrain activated apparently again. It is September if anyone is feeling very generous five gifted subs means at least one gifted sub free sometimes more pop up So if you are feeling generous. It's the best way to probably support right now If five get one free, it's very cool Robo Bay coming up Nexus is on the way in Banshee tank and Marines all coming up a couple of barracks coming out from Clem as well Engineering Bay and refinery coming up as well Oh, there's Banshee coming in here from uh, Clem. Going to get a whole bunch of kills. Look at that. The benefit of having gotten rid of that battery has already been shown because now a bunch of probes go down that would have been healed by the battery otherwise. Eight workers killed and Clem's Banshee goes for some serious damage in these early stages. So able to come through and develop <coughs> a good amount of damage there. Very nicely done. Marines and tanks still continuing back out into the center. Okay, see how Stork's gonna hit. Cyclone gonna take some damage. Medivac can take a shot as well. Cyclone locks the adept gonna continue to get chased away for now. Just seeing the charge and the Colossus range coming through. Stalks pull back around that right side. Marines, tanks, cyclones gathering up. Clem looking to keep on pushing through the middle here. Just going to be seeing a few stalkers. Taking a couple of shots. And a couple of depths on the bomb side go down. Clem micro in that siege ta uh, the cyclone nicely. We'll start to siege the tanks. It's going to be seeing one tank, second tank. Oh, we're going to blink forwards here. Trigger just says, I can fight through. There's obviously no upgrades on the bio units there. So no stim or anything to help power through that. Super battery finally coming into play. The tail end of that. Do you have a Banshee in the main base? Going to go for a few probes. Three workers going down. And charge coming up. Extended Thermal Lance coming up. As that Banshee escapes up the sides. Oh, 
Oh, there's another mule gonna drop into place. Stimpak combat plus one continue to come through. Okay, we've seen our stalkers continue to fight. A widow mine or two getting chased down. <coughs> it's gonna be seen up out. So coming over, a couple cyclones gonna press in. The Colossus there is in trouble, but he gets behind the Stalkers and the army can't catch it, but now the Marauders will catch, and the Colossus goes down. Trigger got some damage done with this army, but he also loses the Colossus, which I think is always damning, right? Just having the, um... Yeah, having the units lost, basically, is rough. And it's very difficult to kind of handle, because now you're going to be in a position where... Yeah, you, you lose out on, basically, a Colossus. Your splash damage is delayed. That means your switch with splash damage... Further down the line is probably going to be delayed as well. You know, if you have one type of splash damage and you switch into another, we are going to delay the SCVs on the third ever so slightly, but not too crazy. As the Zards come back through as well. Fire's going to fight, Stalkers get turned around. We've seen the uh, Stalkers and Colossus coming through again. Colossus is still actually just wandering across the map. That's not great. So, Miss Rally here from Trigger. I get punished as the uh, Widowmine goes off for a Zealot. Clem obviously keeping this busy. No one knows that this Colossus is here, not even Trigger, as we run through. And the uh, meta back in the main base goes down. Clem just jumps onto the fourth. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get a few more probes. Would have mind allowing him to retreat. Yeah, he, Clem just doesn't see the Colossus, by the way, so he has no idea that it's there, and obviously Trigger doesn't have it hotkeyed or anything. Clem might run into it right now. Once he comes down this ramp, he's going to see a Colossus. He's going to realize it, and that's a freebie. Random Colossus in the map. Recall is no good. Yeah, I mean, good to try to just save it, but, yeah, too late realizing what was going on. The Colossus falls. That's a little bit of a shame, especially as we're already talking about the splash damage being limited because you've lost one Colossus earlier. Now your next Colossus goes down. That is tough. That's all fine. Stalkers pulled back. It's going to be seeing Vikings and Ghosts coming through, plus two and Disruptor coming in as well. Still moving over. We do have our bio force retreating away also. And plus two attack drop to continue to come by. The Colossus coming up. Bio gonna turn around again. Stalkers have to step back for a moment or two. Bottom side is going to be seeing this next coming up. It's so a fifth base coming through. The Stalkers, the Disruptor coming about. Stalker going to shoot. What am I going to get taken away there? But I'm still coming over. I'm kind of uh, hunting Disruptor doesn't really find much. It will go down now as well as Clem really has a very strong army currently. I'm just going to be seeing the couple of Zelts going to get chased. One of those goes down. The next one being hunted as well. Comes through. Uh oh. Force field's coming down. First Colossus drops. It's gonna turn back around. Disruptor there goes down. Just gonna see that sentry on the right side gonna get picked off. So damage being done. Plus two attack coming in. Plus one ship weapons. Two two attack and armor upgrades as well. The Zealots is gonna take some further damage here. The Bioforce still sticking around. Stalkers, do you have to blink away? Nexus falls. Pylon falls. Still chasing up the right hand side, and again, just gonna be seeing the Vikings. Gonna go get rid of the Colossus. Seven more zealots coming through, or eight more zealots. 
Thumb sits at a 50 supply lead right now, though, and oh no, that's a big disruptor shot, so never mind. Okay, well, it actually still is almost 50 supply lead. It's still good for Clem, uh, but obviously something to maybe give you some hope for Trigger, who is trying his absolute best to hold on for the moment. We scan around a whole bunch more stalkers coming through. So rare, Clem takes a disruptor shot to the face, isn't it? Very soon he'll have 2 2 upgrades, by the way, so it'll be 2 armor upgrades up on his opponent. Likely an important factor is pull back that right side a little bit. A few more ghosts on the way up from Clem as well. Plus one ship weapons is coming by. The Marines are coming through. The Medivacs are still building. Still get disrupted down the right. He's going to be seeing the rest of Clem's force coming forward as well. Combine once again, just going to be seeing the rest of the Biofor still coming over. Fire's just going to hit next. To, uh, sorry, rocks will go down. Maybe the first disruptor tonight, and uh, now disruptor will miss. His thumb just pulls back, very patient, dropping a couple of EMPs. Another disruptor shot firing, couple of Zards going down, another disruptor shot again, not quite going to be good enough to do anything there. Dive in, another disruptor, couple of units on the edges falling. Good EMP, Zards getting picked away out, Stalker's getting jumped on. Disruptor shot doesn't land either as the Zards continue through. Yeah, Clem's going to get pushed back, but I mean his supply is still fantastic, he's got a bunch of landed Vikings here that are apparently slow moving forward. The disruptor still won't quite land. We have a command center bottom left side taking position. And the disruptor shot will not land just yet. Still trying to push in. And the disruptor just gonna fire Viking. Gonna get picked off as well. Oh, you're going to find another disruptor shot coming through. Well, still is getting shot. Disruptor coming through. This is going to be seeing the Liberators continue to come across. We do have... Liberators sieging as well. I mean, Trigger is still not in a good supply spot. He's going to blink forward, try to get rid of the Libs. The bio is still being pushed back on the ground. There's not a lot of bio units left. Disruptor finds a few of the bio units. The Vikings here are still so much supply, not doing much. Another disruptor shot comes through. Advanced ballistics coming up. The 3 3 is coming about. Gonna go and dive onto the Nexus over here. And a couple of those Liberated Siegen as well. is going to be hitting all over the place. He's going to be seeing another disruptor shot coming up the ramp. He's going to be seeing hits coming all over. I'm just going to be sieging as the bio gets onto that nexus. Just going to be able to take that down that bottom corner. Disruptor shot fires, Nexus will fall. Yeah, Libra is going to come across. Can be seeing the bio still fighting. Libra is continuing to siege. Tempers are going to start pushing through as well. Just going to be seeing the Tempers, obviously, a great addition against the Libs, but too little, too late, right? We've only got one disruptor left here. It is going to go for, honestly, a pretty good shot. Disruptor still coming by. A couple of results still getting taken out. G, G. Clem is going to get the win in the end, man. It was a grind to get there, though. This was not an easy game to finish off as Trigger really fought hard and summoned Trigger going the distance. In the bottom left-hand side, our Red Protoss player from Basilisk is Trigger. Up against Clem in the top right from Team Liquid.
Okay, racks gas. A little bit of everything coming through. Nothing too proxy favored or anything, so nothing super wild right away. I first probe of the game and come across the map to start. Putting some pressure onto the other side, so I'm just going to start scouting around, trying to figure out what's going on and all the rest of it. To take the watchtower, we continue by and continue to the upper right. Debug goes down and she blocks the probe from getting in to see what's going on. Probe will be held out for a few moments. <clears throat> As we do have our Nexus and the Cyber Core coming up, the Assimilator coming through from Trigger. Probe coming out onto the map, and again, there's Reaper about to pop from the barracks. Some heads down to the south. Try to see what's going on. Couple series left after this one, guys. Obviously, Clem taking on Christiana will be coming up next, and then we will round the day out with Clem versus Shin. Reaper hops up, Reaper hops down. Red Dap is still shading out, and just going to be seeing the Reaper coming through as well. Getting going for the moment. And the starport and the reactor continue to come through. Helene is still on the production tab, continue to bring that out at the moment. As the Adept will come in there, Reaper will take some shots. That's gonna get grenaded. That's gonna be low HP. It's gonna die. Reapers are gonna win that fight. So Clem with the double Reaper. Getting rid of an Adept. Twilight Council, the tech choice here from Trigger. Not going back to those Phoenix that were just so good game one. I don't love the decision because I honestly feel like it was so good game one, the Phoenix. I would really just love to see him go for them again. But hey, he is not feeling it just yet. We see now Hellion in the main base. A few probes are going to start going down. Four workers dead already, so hello, Hellion, run by. Gonna do some work here in Trigger. I mean, these are the kind of things that Phoenix help you to deny. And that's why Phoenix is so popular against Clem. Yeah, Clem can do some pushes that really punish Phoenix play as well, but if his gen general basic harassment is going to be able to come in to do so much as well, then that's an issue. The Reapers actually went down as well, part of the reason why that Hellion got through. There's the couple of Widow Mines coming across the map now. So, we're going to have two Widow Mines ready to get a move in here. If that comes about, then there's going to be two stalks in position immediately. So the mine's going to unburrow, reburrow. A couple of these probes will get shot at, so they will get taken down. One probe is going to get grabbed. Stalkers are going to be able to get the widow mine as well. So that's a clean up two pros for the Widow Mine and the Medivacs. Generally not bad. The Medivacs are not dead, but it shouldn't get home easily at least. <laughs> Unless you escape out through the bottom, stalking on position. So yeah, we're actually going to get to wait fine with this Medivac. It will get out for the moment. Oh, Stalker's just going to be chilling, just going to be seeing the blink coming up, gates, ops coming by. We are going to be seeing our Stalker's just going to go jumping onto the order turret here as well. A couple of simulators still continuing out. We do have our Stimpak and Plus One coming in the barracks. Finishing in the main, another Marauder coming through as the Medivac continues by. And if that gets all the way over here. I 
can't charge anymore. Look coming through. The extra gateway is all coming down from Trigger also. So all of that just coming about. Our stalkers will gather. Trigger will begin to go toward the upper right side of the map now. Marines is going to go grab the Observer. Stalker's moving through. Marines, Tank, Marauder coming about. Raven's still overhead. This entire Bioforce coming through. And Charge coming up. Prism on the way. A couple of Gates and the Forge coming by. Stalker's just sitting out the front. And again, the Raven, Medivac, and Bio will come forward here. One Marine going down already. Tank's coming around the back side and Again, with the plus one combat shields, we are going to be seeing upgrades finishing from Clem. Well, that's where he obviously hits a power spike in this game, and he is coming across the map as though to make use of it. At the same time, though, Trigger immediately sets up a counterattack of Zealots. Ten of them, or nine of them, I believe, heading toward that natural expansion. Could be dangerous. Force fields here are... They're okay. Right? I mean, could have been maybe better, honestly. Could have been worse. He still lost a few units. The Zealots have not moved forward, so they actually stopped for a couple of seconds. We're going to give Clem a chance to even just get towards more units. The SCV's pulling the bunker, but they did not actually repair, so that's a mistake, as Widowmind's now going to hit these Stalkers. Siege tanks are going huge onto the Immortals as well. One Immortal left, and it's already lost its barrier. This third base of Trigger is likely going to go down. These Zealots on the other side of the map are being cleaned up, and Trigger can't afford to make more of those, because he's going to have to focus on defense now. I are gathering a few Zelda's gonna come in. The bio gonna fight a couple more. What am I setting up? Marines and Widowmines coming through. A couple of SCVs still coming about. Bio's still getting up to the top. We're on the top, gonna get turned around a little bit, just gonna get pushed off over to the side. Stalkers are gonna come through. SCV is gonna get shot off. First SCV going down, second SCV going down. Stalkers blink down to the low ground. We do meanwhile have now a bunch more zealots warping in, so you know what? We got some SCVs in the end, but Trigger still took a lot of damage, obviously, losing the third base is extremely difficult to recover from because that also means that all these probes are extremely inefficient as of right now which means your economy is way way worse than it ever should be in these kind of situations so triggering a lot of trouble as Clem regroups he might just have another push soon I wonder if he can get across the map and fight before Storm it's only just started from Trigger and if Clem fights before Storm I think Trigger just dies if Trigger can get to Storm and a couple storms go off there is a world in which Trigger to maybe hold on and let this game go to a later stage. But this really is reliant on Storm. Um, again, if Storm does not finish, then we are going to be in trouble as that bio comes through there. The Zealot gets grabbed. The plus one armor finishing up on the forge in a moment. Still some units on this high ground moving around. High Templars back into the prism. Another scan here as the uh, anti armor missile going to strike. Okay, well, that works. Great start. That's going to mean, okay. This is rough. Five seconds to Storm, though. Prism is going to start unloading. Widow Mines coming up. Okay, Storm's very good. I mean, probably the best Storms you could have asked for. Three more, a couple of Zelts left over here, and Clem's going to go running away. That's still not good enough, though. I mean, Trigger still lost a lot in this, and as soon as Clem reinforces, now he's got Ghosts as well. This might just be GG still. He's going to lift up here, like I said, just get the rest of the reinforcements, and altogether, this army is... Not going to do very well. Trigger tries to push up this ramp, but the EMPs are obviously very good. That is it. And that is going to be Clem taking game number three of the series. Clem gets the win.